Welcome to Charles Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Wednesday the 8th of May comes to you from London and I haven't recorded Charles Today uh, for a week or so because I had the training last week in London which was great. Um, but let's look at the market. So uh, here we see the dollar looking obviously stronger with that US interest rate uh, outlook. More and more people in the market seeing interest rates in the US staying higher for longer. That's meaning the euro is looking weaker against the dollar. We've got downside targets here. Uh, so really quite interesting there. And a downside target to 101 parity. Um, so it'll be very interesting to see. And we're below the cloud there. So this is the daily and the 60 minute chart. So my medium term and my short term charts. Uh, so quite key. Of course, the Japanese yen has been in the news quite a lot. We've had these uh, 34 year uh, lows for the yen. Remembering this is the dollar yen chart. So it's inverted. And if we look at the long term picture, uh, we see this big move in 2021 from 100 to around 150. Uh, that first wave to 1040 gives us a big upside target on the yen. So looking very weak long term for, for the yen. It's just their interest rates and everything is a very different position um, from the West. And if we look at sterling, that's looking weaker against the dollar as well. Falling away, we're sitting at 124.27 at the moment. And again, we're below the cloud there. So quite interesting there. Taking a look at Bitcoin uh, really has just struggled from this uh, consolidation pattern, increasingly looking a little bit like a top uh, where we see here the move towards the target and then now a new downside target falling away back below the cloud on the 60 minute. Probably going to come back and test this 58,000 uh, low point. Uh, but we've got a level now, but a key levels between 58 and 65,000. So that's the uh, areas to watch uh, there. The um, US market, actually stocks looking stronger. Um, again, we've got a NASDAQ upside target here on the medium term chart. We've got two new short term upside targets, some four and a half, five percent higher. So stocks looking stronger again. Everyone calling the end of the, uh, the bull market in the US. But realistically, if we look at the charts here, we see the S&P 500, uh, uh, the S&P mini. And again, if we make a new low there below that 5,000 mark, then we activate a target to four and a half thousand. But we only do that with a new low, because if we make a new high, then we're looking very much back to this target, some 24 percent higher. So market still potentially has a long long way to run. Uh, looking at the FTSE future, that's been in the news quite a lot lately as well. Uh, we're seeing here upside target here, the thrust that we saw in November, December, new upside target. FTSE's really, really run now and we're heading towards that target. You really can't ignore the targets. And here we see downside target given and met, new upside target given around the 19th of April. We're on the way to that target, new upside target here, multiple upside targets. That's the train tracks that we look for. Uh, so that's looking very strong indeed. And if we look at the DAX in Germany, up half a percent this morning. Uh, and again, on its way to a target, a little bit of a pullback, but making um, new highs again. And short term upside target is there. So can't ignore that. Japan, uh, of course, it had a bit a little bit of a wobble with the uh, yen weakness, but we are still seeing weaker yen is good news for Japanese companies. So uh, really quite key there. Looking at China, this has been really interesting. Big upside targets there. New real recovery off that low. Chinese stock starting to really trade off the bottom. And if we look at the Hang Seng, uh, similarly, we see that upside target that was given in January just now met, uh, waiting for the new target to be uh, to be given. So really quite key. India still looking strong. Uh, we've got an upside target that was given in uh, activated in February. Long term, the target for India is just fantastic going to those targets there. So we really can't ignore that either. Uh, and the Aussie market um, has been quite interesting. That target given in November was met very quickly in January, just a little bit exhausted. But now on that shorter term chart, we see here coming back to a new upside target. So again, that's going to be quite key uh, for the Aussie market. We'll look at the energy mix in a minute. Uh, we're just looking at some of the soft commodities. Cocoa, of course, has been a really big news story, having rocketed to as high as 12,000, now falling back to near 8,000, that downside target. We noticed that Cocoa was actually 
moved up much faster than the two to one slope. You could adjust the slope, of course, but we see here that now we're pulling away and we had a downside target given at around 10,500 to 8,500, that's been met. So we have seen that pull back and no signs yet of targets pointing to new highs for cocoa. So that's really quite interesting. Uh, if we look at things like wheat, uh, we had downside targets here for wheat, new upside targets, same on the short term chart. And if we look at corn, similarly, downside targets, but new upside targets kicking in. So that's really quite key as well. Remembering this is just buying thrust. Gold <clears throat> looking absolutely fascinating. Uh, here we've got a situation on the medium term chart where we had this upside target given and met a new thrust uh, from February to March. That was from around 2000 to 2400. If that we see a new high on gold, that activates a target almost $1,000 higher. So I'm um, going to be very interesting to see if we make new highs. But downside targets here on the short term chart, we are just teetering with the cloud. We've got Orange targets here, waiting for a new high or a new low to activate those targets. So keep an eye on those short-term charts. So if you're trading gold, uh, go to an even shorter charts like the one minute. Silver, <clears throat> no big surprises. Similar picture, upside targets given and met. Uh, if we look on the 60-minute chart, we're just really waiting for a break of this 27.50 level. Uh, and these downside targets, probably done. And we're now looking and waiting for the new upside target. And again, we see that there on the short term chart. And if we want to go to the very long term on silver, we've got a massive upside target uh, if we can break to new highs above $30. Uh, looking at um, the US 10 year yield, seeing here the train tracks um, <clears throat> to about 4.84% um, from these two thrusts in February and March. We're now pulling back Following this short term downside target, which was nearly met. So we have just seen a pull back there, but these targets are still in train. So we're bullish long term, medium term, uh, we're bullish short term, that bearish target kicking in. We are below the cloud, wait for a cross above the cloud. And of course, on the very long term chart, a very scary upside target. We've got targets to five, 5.6 and 10.5%. Now, no one wants to believe that, but that's the very long term target. That was out to 20, 28, 29. So it's a long way away, but the target is there. Um, taking a look at Apple, uh, we saw Apple making 12 month lows. Uh, that was really quite significant moving towards that target, but we pulled away from that trajectory, had a new upside target, and that's where the prices jumped to. Got to wait for uh, how that plays out. And then if we look at NVIDIA, uh, much the same here. This is going to be a really key test here. A $200 range on NVIDIA. Um, and really, will we make new highs or new lows? Waiting to see if we can make a lower low or a higher high. Now, looking at the energy mix very quickly, we've got Brent crude. <clears throat> that has looked pretty bearish the last few days, just pulling back, testing the cloud. Downside targets here being given and met. Uh, US nat gas has looked very, very strong uh, lately, above that $2 level, um, and really has turned the corner now like European gas prices. So that's been quite cool. Uh, UK, uh, sorry, the European carbon uh, future, really interesting here, pushing to targets. 75 is the level that we've got to break there. We talk about this every morning in our morning call, of course. And gas prices pulling back uh, on TTF <clears throat> down 2% today. But we really have turned a corner here and crossing the cloud. New high. We look to that new target. So really quite key there. Last of all, power, <clears throat> German power looking very strong indeed. If we make a new high, we activate a very big upside target. We've got resistance at 120, 140. Get through that $100 mark, 100 euro mark. That's going to be very significant. Keep an eye on the targets and go to your short term charts. That's where you're going to see the action for today, which we cover in our morning call every day. <clears throat> That's it for today. Until next time, happy charting. Bye for now.